Not only are there a couple of decent horror comics coming out this week, but this Saturday's Free Comic Book Day event has its share of graphic novel horrors as well. Here's this week's horror comic book picks. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Here's what's coming out this week in horror, August 11th, 2021. Midnight Western Theater, number three, from Scout Comics, has a story by Lewis Southard with art by David Hahn. In this installment of Midnight Western Theater, a Navajo warrior goes on a quest to become a legend, but runs afoul of many horrors the desert has to offer. This seems to be an intriguing little horror anthology series that tells a new tale of terror in the Old West in every issue. Broken Souls Ballad, number two, is again from Scout Comics. The story is by Massimo Rossi, with art by Ludovica Serigati. Not only do I love the title, but the premise is pretty sweet as hell, too. While on the surface this looks like another mutant knockoff book, there is a lot more twisted stuff going on underneath, as the teens who gain superpowers are more cursed than blessed with these powers that emerge as representations of their own inner turmoil. These powers represent psychosomatic issues each kid is suffering from, which take form in the most brutally and ugly of ways. Cool stuff to look out for in this one. Hellboy and the BPRD, The Secret of the Chessboro House, number two, is from Dark Horse Comics. The story is by Mike McNola and Christopher Golden, with art by, here's a blast from the past, Sean McManus. I'm always game to venture back into the Hellboy universe. This time he's investigating a haunted castle filled with monsters. But the real interest for me, though, is seeing the work of classic 80s artist Sean McManus again. I love those old Demon and Dr. Fate books he used to draw way back when. Looking forward to seeing his take on Hellboy. Bunny Mask is from Aftershock Comics. The story is by Paul Tobin, with art by Andrea Muti and Paul Tobin. I've been intrigued with this story of a survivor of a violent kidnapping meeting up with her rescuer years later. The story of this unconventional relationship forming between these two is wonderful to see unfold, and the dark specter of the bunny mask creature lurking in the background continues to lurch ever closer to these new lovers. Nice twisted stuff from the writer of Colder. The Silver Coin number 5 is from Image Comics. The story is by Chip Zdarsky, with art by Michael Walsh. The tale of the cursed coin goes on as this one heads into the age of the witch trials in an old New England town. Expect a plenty of finger-pointing and persecution that will bear absolutely no resemblance to all the things happening in today's society with social media. This is an excellent horror series, though, with each installment loosely connected to the last. Finally, we have The Unbelievable Unteens, number one from Dark Horse Comics. The story is by Jeff Lemire, with art by Tyler Crook. Lemire expands on his Black Hammer universe of dark heroes with a new meta-series focusing on a comic book writer who is visited by one of her creations, leading her to form the very team of misfit monsters she wrote about in her books. Intrigued? I sure am. But wait, there's more. This Saturday, August 14th, is free comic book day, so look for these comic book horrors at your local comic shop. Free comic book day... Trees, Unreported Murders, number one is from Ablaze. The story is by Bridget Tan, with art by Cajo Baldissimo. Soon to be a Netflix series, this is a tale of crimes committed in the Philippine streets by all sorts of supernatural monsters. This one utilizes all kinds of local folklore as inspiration for their monstrous criminals. Seems like it's a fun twist on the detective noir stories. Free Comic Book Day, Zom 100. Bucket List of the Dead and Demon Slayer is from Viz Media. The story is by Haro Aso, and the art is by Kotaro Takata. I know all the kids these days are loving the manga, and here's a FCBD issue focusing on some potent horror featuring Akira and his Bucket List of the Dead, as well as the highly popular Demon Slayer. Both are big hits, and this issue highlights why. I'm not the biggest manga fan, 
but I've read some very potent manga horror in the past, and I'm always looking for new terrors in this format. Free Comic Book Day, Vampire, The Masquerade, number one, is from Vault Comics. The story is by Tim Seeley, Teeny Howard, and Blake Howard, with art by Devmalia Pramanik and Nathan Gooden. I'm not really into RPGs and card games, but I know it's an audience that crosses over with comics quite a bit. Those not too sick of vampires have a new comic to suck on. This one's written by popular writers Tim Seeley and Teeny Howard, so there's that. Free Comic Book Day, Vampirella, number one, is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by Christopher Priest, with art by Ergen Gunduz. Sure, this might be just a reprint of the first issue of Vampirella, but it's written by a truly talented storyteller in Christopher Priest. This year is Vampirella's 50th anniversary, so expect all kinds of new vampy stuff on the stands, bearing fangs and just about everything else given that skimpy little outfit of hers. Free Comic Book Day, R.L. Stein's Just Beyond, Monstrosity, number one, is from Boom Studios. The story is by R.L. Stein himself, and the art is by Irene Flores. While I was too old to get into Fear Street and Goosebumps, I find myself interested in going back and checking them out as an adult. Just Beyond is a new story by Stein about a family who buys an old studio in hopes to make a new generation of horror movies. But the monsters that have been hiding in the lot aren't so happy to be disturbed. Sounds like a winner to me. Free Comic Book Day, Stray Dogs, number one, is from Image Comics. The story is by Tony Fleeks, and the art is by Brad Simpson and Tone Rodriguez. If you're curious about this twisted tale of a serial killer who collects the dogs of his victims told from their point of view, now's your chance to check out the first issue. This FCBD edition has a bonus story about the very first dog taken under the master's care. This is an excellent horror series, and soon to get a sequel, so be sure to check this one out. Free Comic Book Day, Enter the House of Slaughter, number one, is from Boom Studios. The story is by James Tinian IV, with art by Werther Deladera. This FCBD edition expands on the Something is Killing the Children universe and takes us into the history behind the monster hunting organization known as the House of Slaughter. I'm looking forward to see where Tinyan takes us next in this horrifying and enchanting world of monsters, children, and the hunters getting in between them. Something is Killing the Children is something of a masterpiece, and it's become quite the phenomenon, and you can preview where the story is going in this very issue. Finally, we have Free Comic Book Day, Red Room, number one, from Fantagraphics Books. The story and art is by Ed Piscor. Red Room has been my absolute favorite horror comic series of the year, so you'll know I'll be picking this FCBD bad boy up this week. This is a new original material that is sure to test boundaries and cause nightmares for those meek of mind and frail of constitution. I simply cannot wait for this one to be in my grubby little hands. Well, that's it. It's going to be quite a week in horror for comics this week. Do any of these pop out to you? Let me know down in the comments. That'll be it for today. Please chime in down below in the comments and let me know how on the nose or mind-numbingly wrong I am, or you can counter with your own review. So guys, you know how YouTube works. I'd love to be able to dedicate more time to this channel. I'm not monetized yet, so if you want to help me out, remember to hit all the pertinent bells and whistles down below. Want some spooky comics to read? I have two new horror comic book trade paperbacks you should look out for. Both Grave Trancers and Pirouette, collecting never-before-published issues, can be found in only the finest of comic book shops. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on my website, mlmillerwrites.com. If you really want to show your support, I also have a Patreon page, at mlmiller. Look for the link to my Patreon page down below. Thank you so much for your time. And take care.